Howdy y'all and welcome back to the farming days. Farming Simulator 15 on Thornton Farm. If you don't recognize the machine you should. Yesterday on Thornton Farm we did something that a lot of people enjoy and I enjoy. We did some forestry. Today we're going to do another thing that a lot of people enjoy that I don't actually do that much. We're going to go do some silaging. We're going to do some amazing, amazing stuff that you, ladies and gentlemen, should be excited about. Because everybody seems to love silaging. And I don't do it that much, but this is pretty much just all about trying to make some cash, trying to buy like all the equipment, tons and tons of all the other stuff. And uh, so yeah, silage is a big, big part of that. And I was trying to think, it's like, I thought about it, I'm like, well, I could do a harvest. I could harvest big old field 11 or whatever and sell it. But it's just like, why? And it's like, silage is a lot of money. So I think what we're going to do, or I shouldn't say I think, I know that what we're going to do is we're going to take this machine and we're going to go cut field 13. Now, now field, I mean, you know how long it would take me to do field 11 with this thing? Holy cow. It's going to take me long enough to do field 13. But field 11 was, is going to be cut with a big combine. Uh, I got that John Deere combine rented. I'm going to do it before the rent expires on it. And we actually own... Let's see. We own field 15, which is that one. Yeah. So I need to plant that one. But right at the moment, I don't even have a planter. So I can't really do that at the moment. But we got to decide what we want to plant in there. Hopefully something cool. Uh, you know, something extraordinarily, you know, awesome or whatever. Let's see, um, I already got a, a tractor and a trailer, and that trailer, as far as I can tell, as far as I can tell and as far as I can remember, is the only trailer that you can actually hook to this cutter, to this combine or whatever. If I remember right, if I'm not right, then just, you know, put a comment down below and tell me I'm dumb and I'm, you know, whatever, um, that I'm mistaken. But I'm pretty sure this gray one is the only one you can actually hook to this uh, forage harvester. Um, as far as I remember, like I said. Um, whoops. I gotta get her in gear. I, was, I tried to drive down here all the way to the, like, down here with the header on. Are you, are you serious? Collisions? Don't tell me I gotta move the trailer. A little bit. Ugh, that's not very good, is it? The professionalism. Can I just kind of do the same thing and kind of push you around a little bit? Yes, we can. And then hopefully I can kind of like just back this up to it, maybe. Don't hit the deer. Okay, we should be good, man. Can I hook it there? But yeah, we're going to work on field 13 here. Doing some silaging. And I got this John Deere. Look at this thing. An 8530. I don't think we've ever even had this deer before. It's, well, that's not very good. We can look at it later. We get to drive it all the way to the silage pit or whatever. The BGA. Uh, let's see if we can try to unfold it. Is it unfold? Maybe? Pipe out? Is it just pipe out? I think it's just pipe out. If I just turn it on? Whoops. Hopefully I put it in the right gear, huh? Oh, yeah, I forgot it picks up grass as well. Let's get a truck in then, man. Let's get her going. Get her up and running. We just got to make sure to pay attention to our, uh, our, our trailer quantity level. Our fill level in the trailer, that's what I'm trying to say. I'll get it out. Don't worry. I'll get there. I wonder if maybe I should like do a strip like two or three back and forth back there. See, look, all right. We we're still. It's still registering. That render thing is just. It always weirds me out, man. Because I'm thinking maybe the game's not actually thinking it's there or something. I don't know. Always weird me out. Let's get rid of that because that's kind of annoying. But yeah, I figured we'd kind of do some silage, man. Everybody seems to love silage. I see, I see people do it all the time. 
you know, you see people playing on multiplayer servers and stuff, and they're just silage, silage, silage. So, I hardly ever do it, just because here in the States, we don't really do silage. Um, like, they do a little bit to, like, feed their cows and stuff, but we don't have, as far as I'm aware, we don't have biogas plants. Like, we don't have biogas energy plants. We do, like, coal-powered plants and, like, whatever else. Nuclear power plants. Oh, this trailer's actually filling up fairly quickly. I mean, I guess really not, but this field is quite large. It is going to take me quite a while to do this. But, I mean, I'm definitely going to have to cut some out, unfortunately. I know you guys want to see everything. But, you know, sometimes you got to cut it out because sometimes it would take me just entirely too long to do, uh, do what we want to do. My screen too over here is blacking out. It's kind of creeping me out. That's where my recording software is at at the moment. But yeah, I got some more. I got another comment. I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm pretty excited right now. I think the last like four videos or something have gotten comments on them. Which, you know, in my book is pretty, you know, it's just moving up in the world, I guess. As far as YouTube is concerned. You know, I think, uh, like, part of getting YouTube is you first start out and you start fighting for views. I mean, your main concern is you're trying to do videos. You're trying to get your, your name out there and get your videos out there and get your views. And then once you start getting views, then you're just like, now I need to start getting likes. And I need to start getting, you know, getting people commenting. Just I like to see people commenting. I don't know what other, two, you know, YouTubers talk about, but, you know, if they're concerned with it or not. But I like comments. I actually like comments more than I do likes. Like, if you don't hit the like button, but you want to, you know, put a comment down below, that's amazing. Just because it's, it, it makes it more interactive. You know, I actually have somebody to talk to versus just, like, talking to a screen. Just doing videos is sometimes a little bit boring just because there's not actually anybody to talk to. So it should be... It should be registering. I hate the fact that it's not. It just bugs me, man. But I really wish I had like a wider like header for this thing. Just go ahead and turn around here. I don't want to get too far from this side because we're almost full anyway. And it'll cut the grass. We're just going to kind of cut down. See, like it wasn't registering, but then when I cut it, it registers. So, it'll get there. I just constantly worry about it just because I'm just like, is it there? It's like games like this, you know, if it doesn't, if you can't see it, normally the game's like, well, yeah, it's not there. It's supposed to be, but it's not. Alright, now you can see the inside of my awesome tractor. Because I've got a full trailer. Is this, uh... What am I thinking? Is this... Can I hook several trailers together? Oh, I can. Awesome. I think that's what we're going to do. <laughs> where does that go? Not really where I want to go. We'll take this down there. And then I think I'm going to rent like two more trailers. Two or like... Maybe two or three more trailers. I don't know. We'll just rent like... Oh, let's have like five trailers. Because then if I fill the trailers, right... If I fill them all, um, and then I can just one at a time drop them all off, you know, and then hook them together and just one big trip down there. Because otherwise, like, doing one, taking it down there, dropping it off, blah, 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 all that stuff. But the only bad thing is, is we're going to have to see when we get down there. I don't think it's a drive-through silage pit. Um, that would make a huge difference. If it was, it'd be great. Otherwise, I gotta sit there and like unhook each individual trailer. So that's kind of a big deal. What I might need to do is actually use auto combine. Because that would make it so much easier if I was using auto combine and had a big, big trailer. Or even like a line of trailers. I mean, that would be a deal. But then, like I said, I mean, you'd have to unhook them every time. I don't know. I'll think about it, and then I, you know we'll get we'll get back to it. 
All right, so we're down here with our first load of chaff, and it is not a drive-through silage pit, which is unfortunate. I was hoping it was, but I was fairly certain it's not. So most likely, I think what we're going to have to do is I'm just going to have to continue this process, and it's going to take forever. But, I mean, it... It's going to work out. I mean, it'll take me like a long time to do it, but, you know, I, I hate to rent like a whole bunch of stuff. And I don't want to use auto combine, really. Um, just because I want to do the work myself, because that's just part of it. Um, yeah, I think I, I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to do all the work myself. Just because just it's better that way. Ooh. Sorry, bud. Didn't even, didn't even see you coming there. Little red pickup just hit me and kept going. These drivers these days, man, you just can't, you can't even, uh, can't even expect any courtesy. And that mirror is almost in a really good spot, even to see around the trailer over there. That's pretty nice. We could take this road to the right, but I don't I don't really think it would help us at all. I don't think it would be any faster taking that road versus the other road. I've got a few loads hauled out. I think it's probably three or so. I've I've gotten it all the way down to where I can get like um, like one pass around the field is 50% or so, maybe a little more, I, I, I can't remember, I think it's about 50% in the trailer, but that's, I mean, that's pretty decent, I always try to work toward that when I'm doing it, the render thing is still like buggy, um, my FPS is a lot better, since like setting the render as I have it, but it's just, it's just weird. Like you can see next to me there, I've cut that, but it's just gone. As I was cutting it, it was just disappearing. Like, it was weird. Like, the wheat was visible until I cut it, and then it just disappears. I don't, I don't really understand. I, I don't think, I don't know how these things work, okay? I don't. I think our plan, though, is we're going to chaff this whole field. We're going to finish chaffing this field. And when we replant it, we're gonna do one of the uh, the other like multi fruits, just just for some like mixing it up, not be doing the same thing. Um, it looks like we have sunflower, oats, and rye. So what we'll probably do is probably oats, but I don't know. We might do sunflowers. Sunflowers are pretty interesting. I I like those. So maybe we'll just do sunflowers, but we might do sunflowers in 11 over there since it's so big. Um, we'll just have like a giant fill of sunflowers. You know, just for some like nostalgia or whatever you call it. Just something cool. You know, get it all messing up. Let's see. On this pass, I started on this corner down here. So I think it looks like we're going to be about 50% with one pass. Which is good because then, like, the field starts shrinking a lot faster. That's always kind of like, like that's always your like point where you're just like, yeah, I'm, I'm a moving on now. I'm a getting her done. Yeah, so we're even less than fifty percent. We're just kind of passing over and over and over. We'll jump into cab here for all you cabby fans. I do like the in cab stuff. It's, it's really cool. Um, at least when the header is real small like this, it's, it's real nice. Because um, it gives you that realistic feel. Like if you're me, I got my steering wheel and all that stuff. It's kind of nice. I did happen to, uh, I did exit out for a bit and I took the manual, uh, manual attaching mod off. Um, I say for now, but I might just leave it off. It's It's nice. Like it adds a bit to the game, you know, but it's... It's just, it's kind of annoying sometimes, having to jump out and attach the stuff. Like, in the situation I'm in right now, having to, like, hook it up to the tractor, and then take it down there, dump it, bring it back, unhook it, hook it back to the combine, blah, 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 blah. You know, it just, it saves me a little bit of time. Um, 
not having to jump out and unhook it and then rehook it and that sort of thing. So I think for now we're just going to leave it out and then, I mean, if anybody's real like upset about it, maybe I'll think about putting it back in. But it's really not that huge of a deal, I don't think. I don't think I'll get anybody like insisting that I put it back. But uh, yeah, so far it's doing really good. Our uh, the pit though is huge. I don't know how much will fit in it, but I think like one trailer load is like three percent. I mean, you got to figure. Um, let's see, three percent times ten, twenty, thirty, like three thirty thousand times something rather. I don't know a lot. It's a lot. I've got. I think I have like five loads in it right now. So you gotta figure 30,000 times 5 loads is 150,000 or whatever. Um, we have just over 150,000 in there, I think. Um, if I'm factoring correctly. I'm leaving some like little bits on the corners when I turn. But it's not enough to really be worth worrying about. I'm trying to do it as efficiently as possible. And I've I've started taking a new route now. I like kind of go down and through the country or whatever. You guys will see it here in a little bit. I'll take you guys down there and um, we'll dump the next load. And then I'll probably just finish this up. And then we'll compact it right quick and then uh, let it ferment. Let it start the fermenting process. Whoops. Hit the wrong button there. Can I attach it without getting out? Yeah, okay. About lost my trailer. Or I did lose my trailer for a second there. Man, it's worrying. Alright, so I've been what I've been doing is this. I've been taking the road. It kinda runs around field eleven. You know, from the front, from the farm south, like down around Field 11, and I'm sure you guys know this route, but this is a really nice looking map. I mean, you drive down through here, and you got the nice little stream, and you get to go over this little bridge, and then I could go straight that way, but I've been turning like this just because it take it seems like it's a little bit quicker, maybe, um, and then just kind of driving up next to this old shack. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool, y'all. But I was really, really tempted to just like rent another uh, semi, another big truck, and a and a, a big tipper, a big old trailer, and then auto combine it. But I don't know. I guess I just felt like doing a bunch of work, you know, just hanging out and doing some forage harvesting. But we'll get this down here. We'll get her dumped. Uh, we can check the fill level, I guess, and see how much is in there. Because um, I think there's probably three or four more loads left in that field. I don't know. It's going pretty good, though. I mean, this is 32,000 liters at a time is, is quite a bit of money. I mean, once it's fermented and stuff, it'll be very, very profitable. We'll just be rolling in the dough. Ringing in the millions. Get our F1 button. Whoa, it's freaking out. Let's see. Compacting is pretty awesome. I don't know why that's... Huh. Where it's 160,000 liters, it looks like. And a hundred percent compaction. I don't, I don't really understand why that is, but I'm gonna go back and do a little bit more work, and then I'll bring you guys back when probably when I'm on my last load or so. Um, we'll re return all the equipment when I'm at that point. I think because I only rented this stuff for like five hours, just enough to do the uh, do the forage harvest and then uh, return it. I think though. I think tomorrow we'll be doing something different. Maybe some actual harvesting. I don't know. We need to plant that field, I guess. So we might just do that.
So I finally got the whole field done. It's taken me a little while. Um, you guys can always look up there in the right hand corner to see how long it's taken me if you back up the video or whatever from when we started because I've kept it in real time the whole time. Uh, the whole process. But we're finally done. I got one full trailer to take back. Take down here and dump in the in the pit. Then we'll return all the machinery. And then we'll be done for the day. I guess we can go this way. This way is kind of nice too. You get to go over the little bridge and then come down through here. All the fields seem to be planted with almost almost all the fields are the same stuff. But that's not too bad. That kind of like starts the rotation, I guess. Um, for the most part, like if every field was wheat, I mean that'd be fine. Because then you just buy them one at a time, and then you'll have it like harvested or whatever, and then replant it to the next crop before you buy the next field. Alright, no traffic coming. I do love this tractor though. This might be the first tractor we actually buy. Just because it's so amazing. I haven't had any like slipping and sliding and nothing. Like nothing wrong with it so far. It's been amazing. The John Deere 8530. It's got plenty of power too. I think it's got like 350 horses in this thing. So it is pretty, pretty suitable for pretty much anything we need, or should be suitable for anything we need. Get this backed in here, and then we'll check to see how much we actually came out with. Get this compacted, get it blanketed, and then, then all we'll have to do is just wait. What do we got? 21%? Over 200,000 liters. That'd be a good sell. It'd be a real good sell, I think. Alright, let's see. Compaction is 90%. It seems to compact really fast. I don't know what that's all about, but... It seems to compact really fast. Maybe, like, the game changed it, or maybe the map designer changed it? I don't really know. If I hit R, though, it should just blank it. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit sticking out, but so it, it looks pretty decent. I did fill the back first, so that might have something to do with it, I don't know. It's going to ferment either way. It is going to take a very long time um, with our stuff on normal. Man, I hate to return this tractor, but how much is gonna, would it cost us to buy the tractor? If we just wanted one of these 8530s just to have. There's two different ones. What's the FH? Is that field something? I don't even know. We have this one, right? But it don't have the weights on it. Or does it? What's the deal here? What am I missing? Weight position. Warning signs. So like the FH, I think it's like front something to where it has like the front three point hitch on it. Um, let's see. Toggle additional weights. Keypad 9. I guess if I go there, keypad 9. That's pretty cool. Toggle position of weights. Keypad 9. Or I guess alt. What? I don't know what all that does. That seems pretty cool though. You can like add that many. Not like it matters, this ain't the tractor we're gonna have anyway. How much did it cost us though, since I'm like sidetracking way out whatever in left field? 222. So we don't really I mean we have enough money, obviously, but we don't at the same time. Um we need to get a lot more money first. But we need to return all this stuff. Because I am done with it. Washing cost. Whatever. It's still cheaper. See that? That's what we need to return. What was it? The 8530 needs to go back. I think that's it. The header trailer already went back. I don't need to return it. That's going to be all the work we're going to be doing today. 
The field is completed, at least harvested. The chaff is <clears throat> transported to the biogas plant, biotech plant. So tomorrow we'll probably be out here working on this field, doing some cultivating or like some seeding, whatever. I do have a, a seeder that I downloaded. I think it's in here. Sewing so machine. Yeah, I got this. The Amazon Condor. Which is huge. So we should have good fun, good fun with that. Uh, we'll rent it and we'll hook it onto something cool. Some kind of cool tractor. So just hang in there, man. Come back and see you tomorrow. And uh, we'll have lots and lots of fun. But uh, thanks for joining me, guys. And as always, y'all come back now, you hear?